Prime Minister, the Honorable Philip J. Pierre. Minister for Tourism, Investments, Creative Industries, Culture and Information, Honorable Dr. Ernest Hilaire, is pressing ahead with plans to ensure that all St. Lucians can benefit from the tourism industry. The minister outlined his vision as a tourism advisory committee met to discuss managing the industry amid the COVID-19 pandemic. The government of St. Lucia noting the tourism sector's integral role in national and socioeconomic development of the country will be ensuring that the instructional arrangements surrounding tourism development are revised to address the various challenges facing the industry. Minister for Tourism Investment, Creative Industries, Culture and Information, Honorable Dr. Ernest Hille, at a recently held meeting of the Tourism Advisory Committee, highlighted his vision for St. Lucia's tourism sector. The minister explained that efforts to improve tourism governance must recognize tourism as a composite sector to which many other sectors contribute. He expressed his belief that St. Lucians should also be afforded the opportunity to contribute and to benefit from the sector. And if we can go back to St. Lucians, you are part of this. You add a room, you add two rooms, and you operate your own micro-business. Everything in there, make it an authentic solution experience. Let them go in the communities. Create the economic activity in the communities so people, visitors can go to the communities and enjoy it. And earn money for the communities, earn money for, 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 for families. We're not saying don't go to resorts. But you, we're saying we can offer you a solution experience that is authentic, that is genuine, and reflects the best of us. And if St. Lucians can start seeing, they can, in, they can earn a livelihood from the tourism industry, whether it's in the village shop, whether it's the village restaurant, whether it's staying at a, a, a accommodation in, in, in a particular home, whatever it is, St. Lucians now see more and more opportunities in the tourism industry for them. Dr. Ehler stated that visitors should be getting a more indigenous St. Lucian experience, even utilizing products made and sold in St. Lucia, such as soap. The minister also asserted that St. Lucia should play an integral role in all stages of the development of the sector. This would ensure a sense of ownership as it relates to the tourism sector, and as such, more St. Lucians would be able to earn from the sector. We need to take a frank look at some of the, the, the developments we have coming up in St. Lucia, I feel very uncomfortable that an investor would be coming to St. Lucia and, and we have an understanding, an agreement that you would put $200 million resort, but then the designs are not done by St. Lucians. No work involving the design and the drawings and the architectural work is done by St. Lucians. The construction, when you look at the request for incentives, the amount of lorries and trucks and tractors they want to bring down. Where are the St. Lucian contractors involved, you know, in, in constructing um, the, 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 the resort or the hotel, whatever it is? And you start wondering, shouldn't we start changing this and say to developers, if you're going to come to St. Lucia, then surely you must use some of our architectural skills and talents that we have in this country. It cannot be just to put a stamp on drawings to send it to the DCA. Let us see St. Lucians reflected in the designs and the drawings and the construction. Can we see more St. Lucians involved in it? I'm not saying your construction manager should not be of your choosing wherever in the world they come from, but more St. Lucian construction firms involved in building it. The Tourism Advisory Committee's meeting also provided an opportunity to review the sector's reopening strategy while deciding on the way forward amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belma George explained that the review encompasses protocols and measures put in place to facilitate the reopening of the sector as well as what obtained in other sectors. Noted breaches, current active cases on the island, and the risk associated with the reopening of the sector, to name a few. Now, a lot of times when we think of COVID, we tend to focus only on the challenges, but it has also given us quite a few opportunities to take a, a really um, intense look at the tourism industry and to redefine how things ought to operate, not just for COVID, but in a more sustainable way where we look at health and safety in relation to the sector. So a lot of our reviews, we're looking at sustainable measures, the challenges that we've, we've we faced, the risks that we note with the sector because we've had an opportunity to look a lot closer at the industry and also 
more importantly, making recommendations that are sustainable, not only for the COVID um, environment now, but longer term. So a lot of the recommendations, we look at how we minimize the risk that the tourism sector can um, provide. And also the other issue that we are going to look at is moving forward. How do we continue developing the sector, keeping in mind um, health and safety as a very, very important aspect of, of the sector. Chairman of the St. Lucia Tourism Authority, Thaddeus Antoine, explained that many factors must be taken into consideration when deciding the way forward for St. Lucia's tourism sector. It's about uh, balancing um, livelihoods and also balancing lives. So while the, the Tourism Advisory Committee looks at more of the future planning of the tourism industry, it's also taking consideration now, what's happening now. And in doing so, it works with the Ministry of Health in deciding what best protocols we could put in place, what best um, advice we give the, our resorts, our alternative accommodation, in inviting tourists to our island, and in helping um, the staff of those, those in institutions to stay employed. But it's, it's, it's about just setting up a plan, a plan forward for the tourism industry, for now and also for the future. The 17-member committee will also be revising several legislation so as to ensure all are able to benefit from incentives and other initiatives within the sector. From the Government Information Service, Humidimak reporting.